Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to calculate beta from a stock compared to the market. Uh, we'll do this in two different ways, maybe three. And yeah, let's write that into Excel. So basically what you will want to do is you will want to go into a website like MarketWatch or Yahoo Finance. You will want to download the market index prices. It can be daily, weekly, monthly. This website only allows uh, to download one year, so I downloaded the weekly one year for the SAP 500 and Apple stock. Once you have it downloaded, you will want to open it. Basically, once you download the file, you'll have something looking pretty much like this. If it doesn't look like this and it looks like a CSV file, uh, the only thing you need to do is just press on the column A then you head on to data, text to columns, and basically you select delimited. It's good, probably going to be a comma. You select comma and then uh, you just select finish and you'll have it. So we're going to be grabbing the close price. I don't, I don't really care about the opening, the high, the low or the volume. So you can basically delete it. To delete everything, you just select it by dragging on left click B, C, D. Right click delete, that deletes everything and this deletes everything here as well and just for simplicity I'm going to call this Apple. You will then want to do the same with your index price. Once you have the Apple and your index, which I grabbed the SAP but you can also use the Nasdaq or Russell 2000 or whichever you want to use as a comparison, you will basically want to calculate the market returns. To do that, you simply market return of A of Apple and the return of the SAP. You will then select the price of today divided by the price of yesterday minus one and you can do either copy paste everything or you can just drag this square that you see here double click it and then you can also do the same here this one will basically do it for cd for the market and then you just double click and it's simply as pressing slope of your market return for apple but you will want to exclude the last one because the last one will give you an error otherwise. And then you grab the same. And that's it. That's your beta. Now, if you want to do it a little bit more fancy, you can go into the analysis tools. You will need to up, uh, allow analysis tool pack and solver add in. And then you go into data analysis and you select regression. So then your input for Y is going to be the stock that you select. Remember everything except the last one. And then your X range will be your return. And then you select OK. And you'll see that you get your stats for the regression. And basically you get the X variable Y is going to be the same as your beta and that's basically your beta and to show you I'll just copy paste it and you see that they're exactly the same so yeah I hope uh, this video helps you and please like and subscribe 